In the world of FPS games, we often see the community praising the aim of professionals with endless highlight videos of crazy flick shots and one taps, and I enjoy and appreciate these exceptional displays of skillful hand-eye coordination just as anyone else, but I want to shine some light on the unsung hero, the keyboard hand. It's the hand that advances you in favorable positions, moves you around the map and gets you in solid angles. And it's also the hand that gets you out of trouble when it's too dangerous. The keyboard hand is in charge of the movement, but also simultaneously it's in charge of switching the equipment, checking the scoreboard, using items and abilities, pressing the voice key, and more. Although the damage is clicked with the mouse, the keyboard does everything else in between. The closest analogy I can think of requiring as much dexterity, technicality, and proficiency is the hand in charge of pressing the chords of a guitar. Both the guitar and keyboard have five rows with keys evenly spaced apart. The guitar player begins building muscle memory in the hands as chords are learned and eventually songs. A gamer too builds muscle memory so that all surrounding keys can be played like chords with our songs being played with live, reactionary, impromptu chords. The end goal is to think of any set of actions in the game and then be able to instantly press the correct keys in the proper sequence and rhythm. Rhythm being determined from the pace and tempo of the game. If you can close your eyes and imagine playing the game and then matching and visualizing which keys to press on the keyboard in real time, you're probably an expert. The first time I touched a computer FPS game was at my good high school buddy's house when I was around 15 years old. At that point, he was already a tech enthusiast and had an extra computer in his room that I could play on. He was essentially the person who taught me the ropes, including his settings. So something unique about his settings was that he used inverted for mouse and C as crouch. So whenever I tell people I use inverted, it's because of him. To be honest, I think if any brand new gamer started with inverted, they'd get used to it just as we had. So invert mouse aside, an issue I kept having with C as crouch is that I couldn't comfortably strafe right with the D key and crouch at the same time because my pointing finger would have to shift from D to C. One day, after losing a clutch round because of the fumbling of fingers, I decided to bite the bullet and commit to finally switching my crouch key from C to V as in Victor. I'll be honest, the first week or so, it was filled with frustration because I was losing a bunch of rounds because of the change. But in the end, I'm glad I persevered through because it was a switch that I used throughout my career and still to this day. For those who are just getting into FPS games and deciding which keys and binds to set, I highly recommend taking the time and making sure that they all work together in harmony. You know you have a good set of binds when there's no contorting of the fingers, forced reaching, and awkward shifting of your hand. Settling early and building muscle memory with funky control binds will only get more difficult to reverse over time. For those more experienced players that may be having the same issue I had fumbling with C as crouch, it will take time to reset your muscle memory but you know just as well as I do that it'll pay off in the long run.